breaking news, and this is important stuff. According to the Wall Street Journal, the White House is going to allow cancelled health plans to continue. Wow. Yeah. Judge Napolitano's here, Liz McDonald here. Let's get some real fast reaction This is on a this. big deal. Liz. You know, you don't need a law to repeal it. If you allow these canceled plans to stay in place, that's the end of Obamacare because you need those canceled plans to float the system. In other words, to grandfather them in or put them into higher, more, higher, more costly plans. Wait, wait, wait a second. Let me get this straight. If you allow these canceled plans to continue, then the people who've got these plans will not be going on the exchanges. The exchanges will be starved of millions of people. Right. Therefore, they collapse. That's, that's right. That's the story, is it not? Yeah, that's right. They will be starved of the premiums yes. from millions of people from whatever source derived, whether from the federal right. government subsidizing people or from, their, or from their own pocket. Now, what will the president do about that? I mean, the writing is on the wall on this thing. How well, the is writing is on the wall. EMAC is right on the mark. Uh, the writing is on the wall not only for the economic demise of it, but for the political demise of it, the essence of Obamacare is that the government, the federal government of the United States of America will set a minimum bar for the uh, health uh, insurance of every person in the United States of America. Right. And that no policy may be below that bar. The president referred to those policies below that bar, the ones that were canceled as substandard. Correct. He's now either going to lower the bar or permit the substandard policies, which guts the moral ideological basis of Obamacare. Now, okay, I have to conclude that if he's prepared to go on the air literally 50 minutes from now and right. do this, Here's, he must be under extreme political pressure. From the Democrats. From yes, the Democrats, it's got to be. We're also coming into the Christmas season. Families are coming home to talk about, hey, my health plans were canceled. We've got the midterms coming up. And if this happens, if you keep your plan, that means the premium costs in the exchanges will have to spike, meaning tax costs will have to go up. Let me, let me make two other suggestions. Okay. Uh, one of which is that if he's going to permit these substandard plans, he has to make other changes in Obamacare as well, because mm -hmm. by starving the insurance carriers of the premiums that they expected from these plans, they will not have adequate funds to finance other plans that Obamacare orders, number one. Number two... That's why premium costs will go up in the exchanges. Correct. Right? Number two, guess what? He can't do this on, its own, on his own. This requires an amendment of the statute, which he said he would never sign. This requires congressional so he's amendment off. of Obamacare, but which he, means but new legislation to amend the statute. But which he means will another get challenge before the Supreme Court. But he will get it. He, well, will, he will get that change well, to depending Obamacare. Upon, uh, depending upon uh, depending upon what he orders, or depending upon what the new statute is, he'll probably get it. Depending upon what it is, it may subject itself to another challenge before the uh, Supreme Court. Suppose, for example, the new statute says to the insurance carriers, you'll, uh, you'll uh, provide, the, sub, um, uh, you'll, you'll provide the, the Obamacare level plans, but the substandard premium. Huh. That would be a taking. That would be taking property from the insurance carriers and would give them a new challenge for it before the Supreme Court. Hasn't stopped him before. To summarize, uh, we have been talking on this program for a couple of days now about the impending collapse of Obamacare. If the president announces that he will allow canceled plans to continue, that, in my opinion, and the judge and Liz, means that the collapse of Obamacare has begun. More breaking news on this. The plan, according to the Wall Street Journal, and officials being quoted, can be implemented without passing legislation. It will let insurance companies extend the substandard plans in 2014 only if they're already in existence and it's different from the House bill. It wouldn't allow re insurance re companies... Hold on, hold on. Repeat that, repeat that. It is. It, the official is saying they can do it without passing legislation. It would let insurance companies extend substandard plans in 2014. But, That's a White House quote. Only if they're already in existence. Okay. Now, what are they going to do about the five million cancellation letters that have already gone out? I agree. It solves the problem of the tens of millions of letters that would go out next year. They won't go out. I haven't but read about the piece these? that email has read, uh, read to us, nor am I familiar with the basis for the Wall Street Journal argument. But the statute requires right. that certain events occur on January 1, 2014. That's 45 days from now. The president is without lawful authority to, to stop that from happening. Only hasn't Congress could do it. Hasn't stopped him before. Correct, correct. I mean, he bombed Libya and killed Gaddafi without lawful authority so he can do what he wants. Ah, yeah, stop it. What he did was he abolished, he, he delayed the employer mandate for a year. Correct. Which was contrary to the writing of the legislation. For which he lacks authority, yeah, right. but he did it anyway. Well, wait a second. Look, everybody. Well, do we have laws or do we have a prince? Okay, okay, okay. Hold on a second. What oh, we've been saying... <laughs> what we've been saying... <laughs>